thing I just want to talk about Nacho Monreal. I think that he's a very good signing for us because um, we needed a left back for sure. I mean, Andres Santos was not making the cut. He's been terrible. Whenever he goes up, he's never defending properly. He doesn't know what he's doing half the time, and I feel insecure when he, when the another when another team's attacking. But as you all know, Nacho Monreal is cup tied, and that leaves us with a problem. And I hope that uh, Arsene Wenger does not put Andre Santos as left back because it would mean that we're just going to get screwed by Robin pretty much. And I hope that Vermaelen takes the place and he does a left back job and we put Mertesack and Koscielny in the middle. But back to Monreal, I think he's a very good signing. On his debut, he made very few errors at all and the only error I saw him do was a miscontrol in the last few minutes. But I mean... It's his debut, and we can't judge him there. But from what I saw, uh, there was one touch in the in the first half at around the thirtieth minute mark where he took it around Walters. That was absolute class, and I like to see more of that because what we've signed here is a international who's very experienced, played for Malaga. Him and Cazorla were absolutely outstanding in Malaga, and they're just going to help Arsenal grow and grow. And it's good that we've signed a new left back because Gibbs and him will they'll be fighting for places and we'll just put Andre Santos out of this perspective and yeah and Andre Santos can be offloaded to another club because he's now dead wood and he's always been dead wood it's just that Gibbs is too injury prone and we just had to go to Santos for help but he never helped us did he because if he did we wouldn't be going signing a left back now uh, there are a few internationals coming up today such as England versus Brazil and Spain versus Uruguay um, England versus Brazil is going to be pretty massive. Uh, Brazil will be going there thinking that they can win, and judging by Neymar's comments, he's saying that England cannot compete for the World Cup ever again. And I think that's a complete joke because, look, I mean, England have Wilshire, Gerard, Lampard, yes, but yes, I know their midfield is very old, but I mean, come on. Uh, Brazilians, the Brazilians' attack is going to be pretty. Hectic. I mean, Neymar Hulk running at you. That's that's pretty scary. But then again, England's midfield is crazy. They have cleverly Wilshire, Lampard, Gerrard, Carrick's ruled out with a thigh injury. But yeah, ah, it's going to be a great game. And I think that in Spain's perspective, uh, I just want Natural Monreal to start because I want to see more of him because. I hardly even know him. All I know is he came from Malaga, and I looked up up on YouTube, and I know, oh, he's a good left back. So I want him to play instead of Jordi Alba because I just want to see more of him. But apart from that, yeah, guys, this is my first upload, and I'll be doing match reviews, player reviews, and how they're playing throughout the years. And uh, up the gunners. Thanks. See ya.